up. Let's make sure we are focused because you are the first for the day. Looking... You played a trombone? Played it for 10 years. No way. Yeah. I used to play in high school. Oh my goodness. Okay, we got a lot to talk about now. <laughs> All right. Check one, two, three, one, two, three. For recording purposes, if I can get your name, please. And of course, the show. Caroline Deverna for Mary Kills People. Let's do this. Coming out in three, two, and one. Thank you so much for doing this interview. Look, I gotta ask you straight off the bat, uh, being here at this award show, how does it feel walking this red carpet? You look absolutely stunning. Thank you so much. It feels wonderful, of course. We just wrapped our third and final season in Toronto two weeks ago, so this is like the celebration of it all. It's wonderful. Why final for Mary Kills People? Why? Well, every good thing has an end. You know, sometimes it's better to leave while things are still you know, nice and strong than to let things go a little too long. So I think it's perfect. Three years for a show is, I think, a good amount of time. How do you think the show has progressed to coming up to this final season? And for yourself, how do you think you progress as an actress, you know, having this part? It's wonderful to really get to know a character and every year come back and, and not have to start all over again and, and try to figure out who you're playing. It's really a comfortable feeling to just get back into it and continue to, um, you know, dive strong, like even deeper into this character. It was wonderful. And she's very complicated, so I had a lot to figure out, and I have been blessed with this part, really. Well, what's the next move? Are we looking at other television shows on the small screen? Are we looking at the big screen? I have no idea. I don't know what's coming for me, and I just had a baby, so I'm going to do that for a second. Congratulations. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. And something we were just talking about, because I've sort of got like a trombone, a trombone. pin on myself, and you were saying you played the trombone also. Well, in high school, I played for like a year, but you played for longer, right? Yeah, I played for 10 years, and I'm actually thinking about retaking it up again. See, if someone handed you a trombone, you would know what to do with it. Yes. I wouldn't. <laughs> I used to be, back in the day, someone who knew how to pick it up and play, like, a couple notes. I, I'm just curious, what was it like carrying this thing? Because that was the toughest thing for me, carrying That's the trombone. That's why I never became good at it, because I never practiced, because I had to take it home to practice. <laughs> and that was my problem, but I did it for 10 years, so... Well, yeah, well, I... I you should pick it up again, for I, sure. I definitely... It's great to play an instrument. Do you play anything else? No, actually, it was trombone, baritone, and trumpet. Wonderful. Yeah. You should bring it on the carpet. You have to be back here the on the carpet for me to do that. You and I should play. I, Next time on the carpet, you bring your trombone, and I'll see what I remember. You know what? That is a deal. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> hey, look, congratulations on the uh, on the end of the series. Congratulations on being a mom, and Thank looking you. forward to what you're going to be doing in the future. Thank you very much, Rudy. <laughs>